Greetings, dear viewers. This is George from Ireland. I'm outside Pentadol Prison, London. This is where... <laughs> this is where Shahid Udam Singh breathed his last. So it was here uh, in July uh, 1940 that he was executed for the assassination of Sir Michael O'Dwyer and for the attempt to kill the Marquess of Zetland. Um, Udam Singh, as you may know, was avenging the Jallianwala Bagh massacre. So he was tried at the Old Bailey, which is a central criminal court uh, of the United Kingdom. And um, this, the judge then donned his black cap, which they do before they pass the sentence of death, saying, the sentence of this court is that you be taken from here unto a lawful prison. And therein, detained until the passage of three Sundays clear, and then hanged by the neck until you are dead. The last bit, until you are dead, is because some people have been hanged in the 19th century, but didn't actually kill them. Um, so, it's, oh, and add, and buried within the prison walls, may the Lord have mercy on your soul. So that would be three clear Sundays. That meant if there was a festive Sunday like Christmas or Easter, that didn't count. So um, about three weeks for the person to arrange some last visits, write his will, put his affairs in order, and then he was hanged here at six o'clock in the morning. Ha executions were usually at dawn. They didn't want a huge crowd of demonstrators gathering outside, and um, the Official Secrets Act governed the execution. It was simply announced that yes, he was indeed dead. The hangman were there, the assistant hangman, um, the governor of the prison, perhaps a few warders as witnesses. They did it very quickly and efficiently in the hanghouse here. He was in the condemned cell, and there'd be a door at the back of the cell. He'd be told, oh, it's just a storeroom. And when it actually came to the morning of his execution, it would be open for the first time, and he would see Albert Pierpoint, who was the United Kingdom's only fully licensed public executioner at the time. And there he met his doom. He was buried almost immediately. Well, they let, they let him hang for half an hour, so there would be no signs of life. These would all be extinguished. The prison doctor would feel for a pulse and then pronounce him dead. After the death certificate was signed, he would be um, buried within the prison walls. Quick lime poured on his body immediately, which, um, it, his body being dry, it would dissolve almost um, instantaneously. So his mortal remains were repatriated to India in the early 1970s, but it was largely just mud they were digging up because all flesh and bone had long since rotted away owing to the quicklime. There it is, um, Her Majesty's Prison, Pentonville, opened 1853, one of the largest prisons in London. It mainly serves London north of the Thames. There have been no executions here since 1964. Uh, there's also a Young Offenders Institute there for young prisoners. Perhaps you can see the high walls, the barbed wire up top. That's it about Shahid Udam Singh.